Now, <coughs> rose, what is rose and nightingale now? Rose is the beauty, is the eternal beauty. In everywhere in the world, uh, in, in, in world literature, you will see that rose is a symbol of God. Kathleen Wayne, the contemporary English poet, she says the old roses and old flowers are just but the signature of the, the single rose of the world. So there is a single rose, and all these roses and rosy cheeks and so much beauty which is in the, in the world, they are all the signature of God, the signature of a single rose. So this is the rose. This is uh, the absolute beauty, the eternal beauty. And who is Nightingale? A singer, a, a lover. Nightingale is the lover who, who can see the beauty. Actually, it is God who is seeing, looking at himself in the mirror. He, he is looking at himself. So he is the lover. And out of his being a lover, he created billions of lovers. And out of his beauty, he created billions of beloved and uh, fair girls and fair beauties in the world. So this is Rose and Nightingale. That is what we have in the heart of Persian literature. And that is why there is so many times, and the, I mean, uh, there are so many repetitions of this word Rose and Nightingale. Every sonnet of Hawkes, almost every sonnet, you open, and then you will see, oh, the Rose and the Nightingale. The Nightingale is singing. The, the red rose has bloomed, and the nightingale is intoxicated. So, this is uh, the two poles of the, of the world. The pole of loving and the pole of beauty. So the world is actually divided into two poles uh, of uh, lover, and beloved. Now, <clears throat> the story of descent of man. We were united once with the rose. So now we are separated. We are separated. We don't see him. Except now and then in certain things, we, we vaguely remember that uh, uh, we enjoy seeing this flower because we vaguely remember our union with that rose. That's why we, we enjoy these, these uh, beautiful structures of the world. So, in the world of separation, which is many, we are lamenting. We are lamenting and we are yearning. We are seeking to go back, to ascend. That is what is called Me'raj or ascent of man, or descent of man and ascent of man. So, you see, the beginning of the great work of Rumi is the Vishnu as me, hearken to the song of the reed pipe. It's how it bemoans, how it laments of separation. As Yudha shikayat mikonat, it's lamenting from separation talking to the stories of their uh, reed pipe. So this pipe 